Hello, and thank you for allowing us the opportunity to submit a grant for a very special community involved project. The Circus Hall of Fame has been a part of the Peru and Miami County landscape since 1982. Our mission is to preserve the rich circus heritage that made Peru what it is today, the circus capital of the world. Last year we approached Patrick Redman, the art teacher at Macanacqua Middle School about creating a, mur a mural depicting the circus history of Peru and Miami County. He was looking for a way to showcase his students. We agreed to pay them $500 to purchase an aluminum panel that is 4 feet by 8 feet and the paints to do the project. The mural is not just a historical piece, it's also celebrating the life that's still here, the history that's still here, and it's kind of an invitation for more collaboration in our community because when you get students involved, it shows them that their input is valued, it shows them that they have valuable ideas, and especially in that guidance of having, okay, here's our history, what can you do with that, how can you celebrate that, and you get them started, they really come up with great ideas, and when they implement that, it, it turns out really well. So the students really took ownership of this, and that first class, I actually brought the posters with me, but we ended with a sketch, and then we went home for Christmas break, and when we came back, I chose a different class because I had new students, and we actually started implementing those ideas, uh, sketching them on the mural, painting them, and the students are the ones who traced them out, they measured and learned all kinds of ruler work. And, uh, and so we spent about, I would say, six, seven, eight weeks planning this mural. And the students came up with the ideas after talking with Regine and Shirley uh, we did an online conference with them, they gave us a tour, they answered all their questions, they told us the stories uh, of all the disasters that we ended up putting into the mural, which are on the corners. So there's a lot of actual historical markers in the mural that you can look at, as well as portraits of Gabriel Godfrey, um, whom I suggested we include because the land dates back to the Miami Indians. The students researched all this, they put it together in a timeline, they uh, decided which pieces of history we wanted to put in here and which characters we wanted to put in here. So I would invite anyone who's involved in the community, try to reach out to schools and see can you get students involved. And then the students learn so much about history they may not have understood. They also learn about present day and they learn the skills of art. When they were done, our volunteers secured the mural to a backing board, added a frame and an industrial clear coat to preserve it, then they mounted it to the trailer in front of the Circus Hall of Fame for all to see. We celebrated their students and their works with an unveiling which was attended by relatives of the people that are in the mural. They provided stories to tell everybody about what the circus meant to them. This project provided an opportunity not only for the students to learn about the circus history and its impact on the county, but also to take part in something that was bigger than themselves and watch their work being renewed with pride in our community. But I'll, again, I'd like to thank you for coming, Patrick, and help me with uh, I'm building the merch. Count three. Uh, no. One, two, three. There we go. Yay! Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Having completed the first mural, we already had started talking to the other schools to see what their interest might be too. The cost of the murals is a bit more than we can afford right now going into the winter months, but we wanted to ask for $1,480 to invest in Miami County school districts and give the art students a chance to create two more of these murals. The Circus Hall of Fame will then turn around and try to get local businesses to help sponsor additional murals as they become needed by the schools. And we thank you for this great opportunity.